all the uncertainty in the market is turning out to be a golden opportunity. Here's Saxo Bank's Kay Van Peterson. Uh, over the last three weeks, some of the names we highlighted from the gold ETF and uh, to the gold miners such as Gold Corp uh, have seen returns of you know, upwards of 40% uh, to 55% uh, in the case of Gold Corp. I just wanted to reiterate that even though this has been a very relatively short and aggressive move, the investment thesis in the gold miners and the silver miners is very, very much intact. It is a strategic kind of call. It is a lot more kind of multi-year in play. And remember, we're looking for moves of 400 to 500 percent in some of these names. Again, going back to Gold Corp, uh, when we initially talked about the piece uh, three weeks ago, it was trading at a price to book of about 0.5. It's now about 0.75, but if you actually go back and look at the historical uh, median price to book, it's closer to two, right? Uh, so there's still plenty more upside, especially if we have gold uh, continuing on the trajectory, uh, maybe getting to 1500 at some point later on this year. If you believe that central bank uncertainty, QE fatigue, as well as uh, global fundamentals continuing to deteriorate, uh, you need to believe that to have that investment kind of thesis intact uh, for being kind of bullish in gold and silver, but more importantly being bullish in the gold and silver miners.